Although they have lost four out of their last five games, the Hoosiers still knew the damage that this Illinois team was capable of doing. Despite their recent slump, the Illini still owned a winning record of 3-1 and one over top 25 opponents, most notably their recent victory over Big Ten elite Ohio State. But with the energy and excitement of this Bloomington crowd, the Hoosier Nation left Assembly Hall smiling tonight as it marked the first time that Indiana has won back-to-back -back games in over a month. First and foremost, uh, proud of our, our crowd. And, and again, never surprised, but for them to come in with the energy that they had, to have the students out there from this morning. Uh, there were students that started being out there at 7 o'clock this morning and to have the energy in this building the way that it was, that is a huge, huge plus. Leading the Hoosiers in scoring tonight was none other than freshman standout Cody Zeller. Zeller had a tough matchup tonight going up against the seven foot one giant of Myers Leonard. However, Zeller ended up with five more points and two more rebounds, proving that he truly does have the physicality and aggressiveness of a Big Ten player. He's a tough young man. I mean, he's mentally tough, he's physically tough, he's getting stronger all the time, but, but I think the more you come at him, you know, the better it is. And, and uh, I think anybody, and I think we saw that the other night, whatever your game plan is, if you want to be physical, he's going to respond. And uh, that's, a, that's a great attribute uh, for a young man. But I'm sure, you'd have to ask him, but I'm sure a lot of that comes from the way he was raised and playing with his older brothers the way that he did. And, uh, but there is, uh, the only thing soft about Cody is he's soft-spoken a little bit too much sometimes, especially on the court. Other than that, he is a tough, tough person. Uh, you know, I've, I've just come to expect it. Um, you know, I just gotta uh, keep my head straight. Um, you know, it's not gonna do any good to throw a fit or anything. So, um, you know, just try to they double it, find the open guy, but otherwise, just take my risk. The Hoosiers have clearly shown that they are not the team that they were a year ago. With this win tonight, they have already surpassed their season win total from last year by seven games. This is the biggest improvement among any other team in the country. I think, I think, the, I think there's a lot of individual improvement that's going on with this team. I think you, you can look at different players and you can find certain aspects of it. I think the improvement is they're getting mentally tougher. We went through a little drought where uh, we, we, didn't, we, we kind of forgot maybe that edge that you've got to have, especially after we beat... Ohio State, and, and I think anytime you have success like that and you haven't had as much uh, as a group, it's, it's, it's real easy to fall off a little bit. I think we did, but I think we got that back. I think these guys, their work ethics are fantastic. I think guys are adding things to their game. I think we're getting better in the post, especially with post defense, and um, we're continuing to move the ball. I mean, the ceiling's uh, on the list for this team. Uh, we're constantly getting better every single day. Um, I mean, we lost a couple games there, but we're in that process, we're still getting better. So um, that's the main thing, and uh, get back at it tomorrow, and um, you know, prepare for the next game. And we just got that mindset and that toughness, uh, to, you know, get these wins. IU will look to continue to keep their Big Ten record above 500 on Wednesday. They'll be taking on John Sherna and the Northwestern Wildcats, who currently hold a three-game winning streak. Reporting live from Assembly Hall, I'm Jeremy Hood. IU Sportcom.